Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about Farah. Farah is a long-ranged explosive class with a focus on extreme range and using her jetpack to move about the map unnoticed. With her devastating rocket launcher, you can easily clear a path to victory for your team. As an explosion hero, Farah can use her rockets to damage multiple targets at once. Like Junkrat, she can use her range and splash damage to hit targets out of view and get rid of traps. But since she fires straight rockets, unlike Junkrat's grenade launcher, Farah can be spotted much easier. This is where her jetpack comes in. Your jetpack launches you in the air for a quick chance to shoot something, and your alt fire is actually your jetpack thruster that allows you to stabilize yourself in the air to keep firing at your target for a few more seconds. This is also your biggest weakness. The longer you stay in the air, the more likely you are to get shot out of the sky because you're an easy target with no cover. What you need to do is focus your attack to shorter spurts. If you are scouting for your next target, launch into the air and just look around and drop down immediately. If you see a target that is alone or low, you can use your thruster to stay in the air for a bit longer to pick them off. Just be sure to drop down as soon as they're dead. There are maps that help your vertical advantage. Maps like Gibraltar, Hollywood, and Nubai have more vertical map designs that are great for Farah because it gives you places to be above the enemy team while still giving you something to hide behind. Up there, you can spam much more and wear down more people. Once your ultimate is charged up, wait for an opening to be able to blow your load all over the enemy. Farah's ultimate is one of the most double-edged ultimates in the game. It can be devastating if the enemy team allows it to be, but if they have any idea where you are, you just got yourself killed. Once you have your ult, stand back a bit. Let the enemy forget about you for a second. Maybe even notify your team your ultimate is up. The key to making your ult successful is to give the enemy team something else to focus on. One of the biggest mistakes I see Farah's do is try to lead a push with her ult. Your ult literally shouts to the enemy team, I'm in the air, firing my ult they will retaliate and you are a sitting duck. About three-fourths or more of the characters in Overwatch can kill you in less than a second while you're frozen in the air before you can kill one of theirs. Your ult is a follow-up. Initiation ultimates are things like Reinhardt, Zenyatta, Zarya. Pharah's must be used from a point of safety like McCree's or Junkrat's ultimate. There's still a chance that they will react properly and still snipe you first anyways, but that's just how it goes. Farah is almost exclusively used on attack since Junkrat is just so much better at defense. It makes sense. Having safer damage and crowd control is smarter for defending where you don't want to ever die. Farah is great for taking out important targets that are trying to hide. It's very risky, but if you die taking out a healer, sniper, or turret, you're back in the fight in 20 seconds while it's going to take them over a minute to get back to their team. This is an objective-based game, so think of the greater good. As an explosive, using your range to find things like Symmetra's teleporter or a turret can win the game for your team, even if that's all you yourself accomplished. Farah is also a great pick for King of the Hill maps. Since it's a constant deathmatch, you can stay out of focus much easier. Your ultimate works so much more often because of the never-ending 5v5 over the point. Plus, you can knock people off the map with your knockback grenade. Honestly, besides getting away from a May or Roadhog, I think that's the only reason that ability exists. The counters to Farah are numerous. All long-ranged poke. Widowmaker, Hanzo, Mei, McCree, Debjorn, Zenyatta, or hard control, which is McCree, Mei, Roadhog, and turrets. What is Farah counter then? Turrets. Besides that, Farah works on picking off people with small bursts of rocket shots before going back and hiding. Her rockets can knock people around and control where her rockets need to go to finish them off quickly while disrupting their aim to fight back. If you want to help your team a bit when fighting a Reinhardt, pop some rounds into his shield to help work down his shield so your team can try to push while you take out the backline. It's always better to push together. Be careful for turrets. Look at their team composition to be aware so you don't suddenly get blown up when you turn a corner. As much as you can blow them up, they can destroy you just as fast when you're in the air and ahead of your team. If you have a fair on your team, there's only three ways to help her out. Always have a strong push tank on your team like Zarya or Winston so you can quickly follow through when Farah clears the important defending enemies. A sniper is always useful for helping take out the enemy backline that could otherwise pick off Farah before she can do her job. And if you want to be Farah's best friend, play Mercy and follow her around to boost her damage and keep her alive while she explodes everything. It's a solid choice on payload maps and Ilios. That's it for Farah. I hope this helps you decide when to pick Farah or how to help a Farah on your team. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for updates on future hero tips and share this with your friends or anyone you think might be interested. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.